Hi guys, Jurassic Junkie here. Thought I'd quickly just grab the camera. Joe's kicked me out, she's cleaning up downstairs and told me to go away. Um, and at the same time, I've had a package today and it is the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller um, because Joe's playing Mario Kart so she needs a proper big mister controller and it's very nice but there's not much to say about it it's pretty much a carbon copy of the xbox one layout and it feels good in the hands it's, it's nice that's it but now i've got all three controllers i just wanted to do a quick video regarding playstation's controller now in the past you may have seen on my videos that i've always been slightly anti PlayStation because I didn't like the controller. Because the thing that bothered me with PlayStation is both the user interface when you boot it up is the same from the last 50 years ago. Nothing's really changed from PlayStation 3. Well, things have changed, but it's the similar layout. And the control is similar as well, apart from the addition of this touchpad. Um, and I don't like it when things don't change. I love change. I want everything, every new version to be different and the user face to change and everything like that. So that was always my gripe with PlayStation. But with the Xbox getting kind of slower at the moment, um, in fact, it's got a bit faster with the latest updates. So I'll give them that. But PlayStation's user interface, I really like at the moment, even though it is the same one from yesteryear. I've actually grown to like it and I've also grown to really really like this controller now I still think the Xbox one controller is the best out of them just because I like the layout I like the triggers and everything but I've started to really enjoy the triggers on these I think they're quite nice and they just feel good in your hand and also the addition with this touchpad at first I was like it's a gimmick it's stupid I don't see the point but I've been playing a few games that just use it just enough and they do it in a different way every time like when i was playing the order you have to use it to actually send morse code and stuff like that and i started to really like it and the sound the actual audio coming out of it that's another thing when you're on um, horizon zero dawn every time you bring up your big echo sphere whatever it is that just goes whoosh, and it's just the little things that go i really like it so i'm completely sold by it now i really like this controller but what i want to talk about is the one fault that i think playstation has and it's analog placement Right, so there we go. They've they've all evolved. Back in the day, every controller looked different from its counterpart, but now they've pretty much turned to the same form factor, very similar layout, same set of buttons, apart from everybody likes to put the X in a different fucking place. But nonetheless, we're pretty much sold with two analogs, D-pad, four buttons, and some extra bells and whistles, and triggers and bumpers. So that is all good. The only difference is... PlayStation have chosen to go with the two analogs in the middle versus the analog there and one higher. Now on paper, I've, I've always had a problem with this and I never understood why. And the other day it presented itself what the problem was. And on paper, you would assume them two being symmetrical would make sense because your thumbs are. So why are we playing in this weird format? Why does this feel more comfortable? And it's shown itself the other day why that's a problem. And this only happens 1% of the time, not even that. So 99% of the time, you're fine, you won't even notice it. And what it is, is it's the D-pad. That's the problem. Now, when you're playing things like The Witcher or Horizon Zero Dawn, a lot of the time, they decide to put your health on the D-pad. So these buttons are normally action buttons, and obviously we're moving and we're turning, blah, blah, blah. This is pretty much most of the time your health. Same with Horizon Zero Dawn. So when you're in a jam and you're fighting, you go in 10 to a dozen and you just need to quickly go, I need some health, bosh. Now there's a problem. Sometimes, and like I said, it's a very small amount of times, but it happens. And you're trying to run away from something. You've got a big old robot. Something's trying to murder you. So what you've got to do is move. You're constantly trying to get away from the enemy. While you're doing that, you need to also have some health because you've just been hit. So to take your finger off this and press the health, you've just stopped dead which means you're going to be munched up by a robot or bloody bludgeoned to death by some evil person. So what you do is you keep running and you just tap, up, tap, tap. I'm healthing myself and I'm running. Everything is fine. I haven't got to let go of the analog. With this layout, you can press them by letting go of that, or you can press these and keep hold of this. It means every thumb can actually, I couldn't speak them, every, your thumb can grab all the buttons. On here, when I was on Horizon Zero Dawn, I needed to press my health button and I was running. And there is no way for me to do this apart from standing still and then pressing it, which means I got battered. So it's a, such a small thing, but I do think 
Like this can't reach that, that can't reach that. Whereas on here, you can reach all the buttons with every thumb. So it's a small thing, I know, but it means to stop dead to get health or continue running and get health. And it's the smallest thing, but that's the difference between dying and getting murdered in a game. And that to me is why them analog sticks are in the wrong place. So like I said, it's a, such a small thing and it feels like I'm bitching for nothing just to bitch for bitch sake, but it isn't. When I was playing um, Zelda and stuff like that, it all works because Nintendo's got the same layout. It's every time I play a PlayStation game, like I said, it's a very small time, but then you get that, oh, fucking hell, something's attacking me. Run, 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 health, health, health. That moment is when this controller fails and those two are more superior. But the problem is now, PlayStation could never say, yes, that layout of the controllers is better because this is a PlayStation layout now. And if they changed it, they'll be murdered. Everyone from the Xbox would be like, see, you've copied us and PlayStation people will piss and moan because it would get changed. But such a small thing. I know it sounds like I'm just moaning over nothing, but it just bugs me. But no matter what the controller is, I love them all. Whoa! So that's me done and dusted. He told you it was a very weird ranty video, but it's just something I wanted to get off my chest. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Cheers, bye. Oh, oh, we don't even want to. Oh, oh, it's my best one. It's my pink one. Oh, it's my favourite. Let's have a look. Oh, oh no, it might be all right. We just splattered some batteries across the floor. Yep, she's all fine. That's my favourite one. Don't know why, black and pink makes the boys wink. See you later, guys.